previously on Unplugged Urban. Dad, what are you doing in here? I was checking on the chickens. I already got their food and water. They're ready for bed. Oh. Good night, guys. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Unplugged Urban. As you can see from the intro, we have some new family members. We picked up some chicks. You picked up some chicks. I was picking up chicks. Yeah. Ben went with me though. Does that make it any better? The father son outing. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you watched uh, our episodes uh, last year, you knew that we were planning on getting uh, some chickens for our garden. Yep. Now that. We can't go do anything else. We figured now's as good a time Miles, to Miles build a chicken some chicks. <laughs> yeah. So uh, the chicks, um, you know, the interesting thing about uh, chicks, a lot of cities, uh, people don't realize you can have chickens. Mm -hmm. uh, most cities have city ordinances. You can't have roosters, but you can have chickens, hens, and uh, they're great for, obviously, eggs and uh, really good for fertilizer. Once they get large enough, you can feed them table scraps, and, uh, and then they just great make, make great compost, uh, just scooping out their bin, plus get fresh eggs. And they're so. fun to watch. And they're fun, they're fun to watch. Minnie does not know what to do with them. Yeah. Lucky could care less, unless Minnie is chasing them, then he thinks he's then he, to. Then he hops in, right, yeah. exactly, yeah. So uh, we're still working on our shoe rack. Um, I don't know if we'll get it done this week. One thing I noticed was I was starting to run out of free lumber. So I knew we were going to be building a chicken coop. So I thought, well, I'm going to have some lumber scraps from that. So right. I'll get close. Um, probably going to finish it next week. We got quite a bit done on it uh, today. But uh, still have a little bit left to go to have enough lumber to, to uh, or enough boards to, to make that. But this week we're going to, uh, we're going to show you how we're making a chicken coop. Now... The unique part about our chicken coop is it is solar powered, rainwater collected. <laughs> we'll explain a little bit later. But uh, for right now, we're going to finish our hike. Today we're out at Oxbow Park. Oxbow Park. Yeah. In, uh, out One of the in, only parks that's open. Open right now. Yeah, almost everything in Oregon is closed, but it's a beautiful day on the Sandy River here at Oxbow Park. Uh, so hopefully you're enjoying some good weather where you are or nothing else enjoying this episode. You don't think it's a good day to build? Very, very Because of that? No, I, I kind of don't want to do... Any Is it too that. wet outside for you, buddy? Yeah, yeah. I'll show you just how much it's raining this morning. It went from raining to flooding. Look at that. Wow. While Ben and I waited for the rain to clear, we got to work designing our off-grid chicken coop. We made sure that our design met all city codes for square footage and offsets for the property boundaries. This coop features a rain collection system for watering our chickens and our raised beds. It also has a 600 watt solar power system for keeping lights on at night and the chickens warm in the winter. After a very wet morning, the rain lifted and Ben and I decided it was time to start building. So we got our chicken coop design. That's me. I don't really have a jet pack, but it was the right height. And apparently in Tinkercad, that's like the only... Person? Yeah, Android <laughs> you can pick is the red marshmallow guy. 
Anyway, so this is what we're looking at, babe. We got the six solar panels here. The house is over here. Mm -hmm. um, there's water tanks. <clears throat> the rain collection water tank is here. Mm -hmm. Batteries are there. Coop is here. That meets our six foot requirements, six square feet requirements. And this bottom area is about 12 square feet, which we have got 10 for the city. We need. Looks good. All right. I'm going to go to work. Okay. So you have fun with that. <laughs> I don't know, that should fit. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. I got this. So if you haven't owned a Spark EV and you want to know how many 4x4x8s you can fit into your Spark, um, the answer is three. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One of the benefits is if you get the pine version of the 4x4s, uh, you don't have to get the little tree for your mirror. It smells just like pine in here. morning to find that he keeps growing my these were one of my longest pants and now i mean i know we had a lot of rain yesterday buddy but this is a little ridiculous don't you think well as you can see behind us we got the uh the frame done yesterday looks pretty good for our solar chicken coop solar powered chickens <laughs> So right now we're painting it. Uh, now you might be wondering why we didn't use recycled wood. The main reason is if it's structural, it's probably not the best idea. You don't know if the wood has rot in it or not. A lot of times when we use recycled wood, we'll cut it up and then I throw pieces of wood that are, that are rotted. Or, or use them for a fire. Yeah, yeah, there are a lot of pieces of the, of the uh, recycled wood that just end up being the, the cutoff ends and going into the scrap pile for fire. Um, you also might be wondering why don't we use outdoor lumber, and the reason is we're just going to paint it all anyway. Mm -hmm. So stud grade lumber is very inexpensive uh, if you're doing outdoor projects, and as long as you're not putting the posts in the ground, which on these we didn't do, we use those auto levelers, which uh, are really nice. So that worked out. I never used them before. It worked out really slick. They're not cheap. They're about 15 bucks a piece, but I also didn't have to dig a hole and pour concrete. Yeah, and then we don't have chunks of concrete if we ever choose to move it. So we, we've done that before. <laughs> we replaced the, the fence that's all around the property. And, <laughs> and we wondered why the fencing company was going to charge us so much to remove it. And we said, oh, that's okay. We'll just do that. And they kind yeah. of looked at us and smiled. And we're like, okay. okay. Well, we're we like, hey, it out. We could save $3,000 if we remove the fence ourselves. <laughs> Let's do it. So we had some friends come over that most are still friends, but yes. some. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to get this thing painted. And then we're going to get the solar panels up. Um, now, the solar panels are our roof. Um, we're, it's kind of dual purpose, so we're going to vapor um, seal all of them and uh, water seal them, so we're putting caulking in between. So that was the other thing too, is I wanna make sure that um, I put the panels up last night to make sure everything fit perfectly. I don't want any gaps at all. We go to put them up, and uh, so we'll get this painted, and then we'll put the panels up.
I know we introduced them in the intro, but to officially introduce, say hi to, oh no, you have Chipotle. Chipotle. This is Kung Pao. And this is Nugget. Nice. New members of our family, and uh, they are getting big fast. So it's a good thing we started the chicken coop this week, because it's going to take us a couple weeks to get it all done. Uh, and we were really fortunate with the weather this weekend, too. It's I mean, I didn't think that was going to work out. Yeah. Yeah. But um, we hope you had a great week. Uh, we did get some more work done on the uh, shoe rack. I got some more boards put together. But like I said, I was still waiting for some more lumber. And now, now at least got, I've got a bunch of scrap wood left over from the build. So next week, we'll, uh, we'll keep working on that. And next week, we're actually going to be making the actual coop itself. We got the roof done. Also, I checked the roof um, the day after. Oh, they're flying, too. <laughs> Should we just let them run? Yeah. yeah. All right. Run free. There oh, you go. Oh, you don't throw them. No, I didn't throw them. They jumped. Go. Uh, the day Wait. after, we... <laughs> she doesn't... Kung Pao doesn't want to go anywhere. Oh, oh. now you want to come back. So the, the day after uh, we, we put the roof together, uh, it rained, which was great because I was able to check all the seams. Mm -hmm. No leaks. So I was very happy about that. Um, so anyway, thank you for spending a weekend with us. And uh, if you like this video, make sure to click on that like button. Uh, make sure to subscribe and tell your friends. Post it on Facebook or your, fa your favorite social network. Make sure to hit that bell to get, all, get notified when we come out with a new video. There you go. <laughs> Good Good job, time to get that out. Right now. You want to do it? Ah, uh, sure. We're going to say goodnight. Good